Welcome to JS Production and today we are going to look at the solution of question 10 of Mathematics Pass Paper 2 of 2015. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So question 10 a reads, in Fortanic constituency A, a, B and C are polling stations as shown on the diagram below. So as you can see that's the diagram of triangle A, B, C and uh, length AC that's 43 kilometers, length BC that's 37 kilometers, and length AB that's 43, uh, 43 kilometers. Calculate loma number one, angle BAC 5 marks, loma number two, angle ACB 1 mark, loma number three, the area of triangle ABC collect to one decimal place 2 marks, loma number four, the shortest distance from C to AB to max. Question B reads, solve the equation 3 open bracket T minus 5 close bracket minus 2 is equals to negative 1 plus T to max. Question A reads, in Fotani constituency A, B, and C are polling stations as shown on the diagram below. So that's the diagram. Calculate loma number one, angle B, A, C, five max. So for me to calculate angle B, A, C, I know the triangle A, B, C is an accessory triangle and that means length A, B is equal to length A, C and I can place my A, my B and my C. So I'm going to use the formula of calculating the longest distance uh, and that formula is going to help me to calculate angle A, C, B and angle A, C, B is going to help me to calculate angle B, A, C. So I'm going to say C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos C. So C represents the angle at C. So I'll say A squared is plus B squared minus 2AB cos C is equals to C squared. So I can say uh, negative 2AB cos C is equals to then I'm going to transpose a squared plus b squared to the other side of the equation. So when they go to the other side of the equation, a squared will be negative a squared, then b squared will be minus b squared plus c squared. Then I'll divide both sides by negative 2ab and that side negative 2ab. So I can cancel out my negative 2ab, then I'll say cos c is equals to uh, a squared. So when I divide negative into negative a squared minus b squared plus c squared, I'm going to have a squared plus b squared minus c squared divide by 2 a B so I can say cos C is equals to my A the length of A that's a 37 squared plus the length of B that's a 43 squared minus the length of C that's a 43 squared divide by 2 multiplied by the length of a that's a 37 and the length of b that's 43 so i'll say cos c 
is equals to 37 squared that's a uh, 1369 plus 43 squared that's 1849 minus 43 squared that's 1849 divide by 2 multiplied by 37 multiplied by 43 that's 3100 3182 so i can say cos c is equals to so 1849 minus 1849 that's a zero so i'm going to have 1369 divided by 3182 so i can say cos c is equals to 1369 divided by 3182 that's 0 0.4302325558 so for me to calculate angle c i can say c is equals to cos inverse cos inverse cos inverse of 0 0.4302 two three two five five eight so angle c is equals to cos inverse of zero point four three zero two three two five five eight is uh six sixty four point five six sixty four point five one seven six eight zero two three and uh to round off to one decimal place i'll say angle c is equals to 64.5 degrees so i know that angle a c b is equals to 64.5 degrees and since I know that uh, this triangle is uh, an isosceles triangle, this also means that triangle uh, angle ABC is yeah is also 64.5 degrees. So for me to calculate angle BAC, I can say B angle BAC plus angle ACB plus angle abc is equals to 180 degrees because angles in a triangle they add up to 180 degrees so i would say angle bac plus angle acb that's 64.5 degrees plus angle abc that's 64.5 degrees is equals to 180 degrees so i can say angle b a c plus 64.5 degrees plus 64.5 degrees that's 129 degrees is equals to 180 degrees and for me to calculate angle BAC, I can transpose my 129 to the other side of the equation. So when it goes to the other side of the equation, it will be a minus. So angle BAC is equals to 100, 108 degrees minus 129 degrees. So angle B A angle B A C is equals to 108 degrees minus 129 degrees that's 51 degrees so angle B A C is 51 degrees 
calculate loma numerator 2 angle ABCB one mark. So angle ACB is 64.5 degrees. Calculate Loma numero 3, the area of triangle ABC collect to one decimal place, 2 marks. So to calculate area ABC, I'm going to use this formula, area which is represented by the capital letter A. So A is equals to half AC sine sin B. So area is equals to half the length A is a uh, 37 multiplied by the length C that's 43 multiplied by sine B so this means the angle that is at B and the angle that is at B is 64.5 degrees area is equals to uh, so 1 multiplied by 37 multiplied by 43 multiplied by sine 64.5 degrees divided by 2 is uh seven hundred and eighteen point zero zero six five nine three seven kilometers squared so area is equals to when i round off to one decimal place that's going to be seven hundred and eighteen squared kilometers calculate loma numero four the shortest distance from c to a B two max. So to calculate the shortest distance from C to A B, I'm going to use the formula of finding uh, the area of a right angle triangle. So area is equals to half B H. So my area is uh, the area of triangle ABC is 718 is equals to half multiplied by my B that's the longest distance which is 43 multiplied by my height that's representing the shortest distance. So I'll say 718 is equals to 43 multiplied by H divided by 2 that's uh, 21.5. Uh, H so I'll say 21.5 H is equals to 718 and I'll divide both sides by 21.5 and the other side by 21.5 so I'll cancel out my 21.5 on that side so I'll say H which is the height is equals to 700, 718 divided by 27.5 thus uh, the three point three nine five three four eight eight four kilometers. So I can say, uh, H is equals to the three point uh, four zero kilometers. So I can just write this down shortest distance so shortest distance is 33.40 kilometers so that's that's the shortest distance question b reads Solve the equation 3 open bracket 2 minus 5 close bracket minus 2 is equals to negative 1 
plus t to max. So to solve this equation, this means that I need to find the value of t. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is to open up the brackets. So 3 multiplied by t, that's 3t. Three, 3 multiplied by negative 5, that's negative 15, minus 2 is equals to negative 1 plus t. Then I'll say 3t, negative 15, minus 2, that's negative 17, is equals to negative 1 plus t. Then I'm going to correct the like terms. So I have 3t minus t is equals to negative 1 plus 17. 3t minus t, that's 2t is equals to negative 1 plus 17, that's 16. Then I'll divide both sides by 2. So the 2 cancel. Then I have t is equals to 16 divided by 2, that's uh, 8. So that's the value of t. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel.